Hello YouTubers and fellow hams. Well, in the previous video I showed you this incredibly nice logger for Linux, Windows, and Mac called Qlog. And the only problem that I had with it at the time was the clock was in 12 hour time, AM and PM time, and I could not get it to go to 24 hour time, even though my system, which it's 10 in the morning so you really can't tell, is set to 24 hour time, Qlog insisted on staying in 12 hour time. As you can see, it is now in 24 hour time and it is synced to UTC. The fix was easy. It was an oversight on my part. I installed Qlog through Flatpak, which is a containerized uh, system for running applications on Linux. Uh, and Flatpak secures uh, applications from your system. So it's supposed to be a more secure and safer way to download applications off the internet since they run in a container. Well, that container was isolating Qlog from my system variables, including my location information and time uh, zone information and so on. And that's why it was not set. Now what happened was I got an email over on groups.io from uh, JP3REM Bill over in Japan. And he, uh, he was letting me know that, oh, you're running it in Flatpak, uh, but you can set an override, which he gave me here. And I will put this text in the video description below. But you type this in, and this overrides the location settings for Qlog if you installed it via Flatpak to set it to run in 24-hour time with UTC. So this is the command you would actually type in your terminal, flat pack with a K, override, dash dash user, space dash dash ENV equal, capital LC underscore time equal, lowercase EN underscore capital DK dot UTF dash eight, space, and the name of the program in the flat pack system, which is io.github.com. F O L D Y N L dot Q log, which is of course case sensitive. Everything's case sensitive. But as I said, this string will be in the video description below. You can just go and copy it and paste it into your terminal. Real quick, what is Flatpak? Well, it, Flatpak documentation site here has a real nice breakdown on the basic concepts of it. But as I said, it's kind of a containerized system, it creates a wall and containers to house the application, its code, its data, any special libraries that it needed to bring down in order for it to run. And then the Flatpak runtime will feed it other services that it needs, other libraries and things from the operating system, and that's configurable. So you, you isolate the application from your system. This page, I will also link in the description below, gives you all the information on what Flatpak is. And why would you want to fiddle around with Flatpak? Well, since applications run within a container, you don't have to worry about dependencies and going through any kind of rigmarole with installing and compiling the program or getting all the dependent libraries like you would with a Debian package installation. And FlatHub, which is here, is a real nice sort of centralized repository for all the applications. And you can search them here and they're they're all organized. These, these are trending applications, popular, new, updated. And you can, of course, search up here for anything you want. Ham radio. And you'll get applications that have the words ham radio in their description. Um, <laughs> surprisingly, not everybody's tagged their apps because FL Digi, if I put in FLD, there's FL Digi and FL Rig, QLog, JS8 Call, all the popular um, WS, w, JST. Oh, I know it's in there. Oh, WSJT. <laughs> Spell it right, Kevin. There it is. WSJTX, JS8 Call. Um, all pretty much all the ham radio applications are in there, and you can install them once you have uh, Flatpak installed on your system. You can install them right here from the FlatHub just as easily as clicking on it and hitting install 
a file gets downloaded, you just basically open that file and it installs the application. So it's a real nice way to get software installed uh, on your system, similar to Snap, and I guess there's other app, app bundles and such, um, app images, but uh, anyway, this has a real nice centralized hub, flat hub, for all the software, so it's, uh, it's a good way to, to yeah, get things installed if you're you know, new to Linux and you don't want to mess around too much. So this flat pack link will be in the description if you want to go learn about it and uh, get it installed on your system. And uh, thank you, Bill, for the email and getting me uh, set up with Qlog, because now my clock is 24 hours, and I'm happy. So, I hope you found that useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos, and if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.